the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 15 through 18. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx, or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekwakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for constantly feeding us sheep with this truth day in and day out. I would like to say the Wada. So yeah, I just want to go into a few scriptures on uh, on wisdom. You know, not not your conventional wisdom, you know, that you will find on earth, you know. I'm referring to the wisdom that you will get from on high. You know, the wisdom that comes from the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, the true true wisdom. You know? Wisdom the full you no know, knowledge, wisdom and understanding of these scriptures. You know. That ultimately is gonna be is gonna be given to you from the Lord. You know, but it starts with fearing the Lord. You know? It starts with fearing the Lord, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of your ability, you know, and departing from evil. You know, you two thirds, you know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to turn back to the Lord, the true Lord, the true power. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, the true names, the true names of the highest power conceivable and his only begotten son. You know? But how can you how can you how can you fear something you don't know? If you don't read. You gotta get into these scriptures. You gotta read. You know, you gotta study to show yourself approved. But again, it starts with the fear of the Lord. You know, which, which leads me to my script, the next scripture I want to bring out uh, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, uh, let's see, it's the Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter 19, verse 18 through 20. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. You see that? So you have to fear the Lord. That's the first step. But again, you can't fear something you don't know. So you know you have to read. You have to read. You have to get into these scriptures. You know, read to, to, to learn the true nature of our Lord. You know, he's a, he's a, you will come to find out that he's a terrible power. You know, his second coming is not going to be hugs and kisses. You know. And send you on your way. It's, it's, it's not going to be. It's not going to be of that nature. You know, the Lord is not coming to bring peace, but a sword. You see. Moving on, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, and they that do things that please Him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. This wisdom, man. This wisdom. <laughs> Man, like I said, priceless, like immortality, everlasting life. This wisdom will lead you to that. You see? Or well, the lack thereof will lead you to your own destruction, to your own demise. You know? Especially if you don't want to depart from evil. You see? Moving on, verse 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. There's that fear again. It's, it's critical. It's critical to fear the Lord. But again, you would have to know the true nature of the Lord to fear him. You see, you got to read, you got to get into these scriptures. You got to you got to you got to seek him diligently. You know? Since you fall on the way, you got to seek him 10 times more. You know? You know, you got to study. You got to do what you got to do. You know, no one can hold your hand and do it for you. You two-thirds. You know? 
You want to keep following the heathen, you know, moving like a brute beast is going to lead to your own demise. You know, moving on. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. See, the law is not done away with. And the knowledge of his omnipotency. See that? The Lord is all power and all uh, unlimited power, unlimited authority. You see? The, 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 the earth is his, everything in the earth. Everything and everyone. Unlimited. You see that? Unlimited power. You see? So with this wisdom from on high, you know, ultimately it, it can defend you in time of trouble. You see? This, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, it's critical. It, it, it's a defense, you know? It's, uh, the next scripture I wanted to bring up to the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7, verse 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. You see that? So ultimately, you have to be chosen, yeah? But again, if you come across this word and you, and you rebuke it, you see, how can you, you know? You could have been, you could have been chosen. You could have been chosen from the womb. You know, you could have been given this, you could have been given this, this, um, you could have been given this, this, uh, this wisdom from the womb. You know, this faithfulness from the womb. You know, let's get that. That's the book of Sirach. Book of Sirach, chapter 7, verse 14. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. You see that? That's heavy. That's heavy. That's beautiful. You see that? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is something that was created with the faithful from the womb. You see? So you, when you come across this word, you know, if you've come across this word, you better, you better, you better take a step back and and take a second glance. You know, those of you, you know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that came across this word, rebuked it. You know, you better take a second glance because you might, you know, you might be, you might be rebuking something that can ultimately save your save your soul. You know, save your life. You know, with this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, man, it's. it's in the time of trouble that we're going into, the time of Jacob's trouble, those of us that have this truth, those of us that have these precepts to rely on, you see, we're going to be stable. We're going to be stable as a rock. You see? We're going to be stable as a rock. You know? The water Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to dwell in your courts. I'm speaking on behalf of myself. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Kal Halayim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I do the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The next scripture I wanted to bring out for you guys was um, Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is his treasure. There's that fear again. The fear is critical. And you know what I want to do? I want to um I want to look up this word salvation in the Strong's G. Strong's H 3444. Yeshua. 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 Yeah, so I can bring this together. You know, we already know what it equates to, but you see that? Deliverance. Deliverance. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, it will make us stable in the time of trouble and ultimately lead us to our salvation, to our deliverance. You see? You see that? Our deliverance. You know, those of us that, you know, those of us, that, you know, the whole four elect, if we, you know, 
Lord willing, that we're part of that precious elk. You see, we'll see the second coming of our Savior, Yahweh Shai. You see, and not even taste death. You see that? That's how critically important this is. But we got to stay girdled. We got to stay girded. We can't, we can't turn back. You know, remember what happened? Yo, we can't turn back. We got to stay focused. We have to stay focused. We have to stay locked in. We have to stay locked in as Akiyam and Akwath that, that got that have this truth. You see, that have this truth. And I'm speaking on behalf of myself first. We gotta stay locked in. We have to stay focused. You know, stay immersed in this word. Stay immersed in this word. This is all we have. You know, the Lord is not a man that he shall lie, and the son of man that he shall repent. Hold fast to these precepts. Hold fast to them. You know? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the point. You know, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Kal Halayim La Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakwak with us. Shalom.